Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is a square is equal to b plus 241. b square is equal to a plus 241. To find the values of a's and b's from these two systems of equations. Now first, we should note the condition from these two equations is such that a is not equal to b. Then we'll let this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now in the first step, we'll take equation 1 minus equation 2. Now from equation 1, in the left side, it is a square, it will be minus b square. So we'll write it a square minus b square is equal to, in the right side, it will be b minus a. So here b minus a then plus 241 minus 241 it is 0. Then in the next step we'll take this b minus a into the left side. So it will be this which is a square minus b square. This will take to this side minus b will take to this side to be plus a. b will take to this side to be minus b is equal to 0. Then in the next step, this a square minus b square, this is in the form of a perfect square. So this is same as a plus b bracket times a minus b bracket, then plus this a minus b is equal to 0. Then from this here, a minus b, a minus b is common. So here we can place bracket, now this a minus b, a minus b is common. So we'll take a minus b bracket out of bracket. Then this a plus b times a minus b divided by a minus b, it is this a plus b. Then this a minus b divided by a minus b, it is 1. So it will be plus 1 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions. Whereas this is the first solution which is a minus b is equal to this 0. And this second solution, a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. Then from this first solution, when we take negative b to the right side, it will be a is equal to b. But we should note the condition from this our problem, a is not equal to b. So this solution here is not possible, so we we'll reject this solution. Then we'll continue to solve from this second solution by take this one to the right side. So it will be a plus b is equal to negative 1. Now this equation here, we call this equation 3. Then in the next step, into this first step, we'll take equation 1 minus equation 2. Now into this step, we'll take equation 1 plus equation now from equation 1 we will write this problem here equation 1 equation 1 it is a square is equal to b plus 241 and equation 2 it is b square is equal to a plus 241 then by taking equation 1 plus equation 2 in the left side it will be a square plus b square so here a square plus b square is equal to, into the right side it will be b plus a which is same as a plus b then plus 241 plus 241 here it will be 2, 8 then 4. Then in the next step from here into this equation here a plus b, a plus b is from equation 3, a plus b is negative 1. So into here we substitute negative 1. So our equation will be a square plus b square is equal to negative 1 then plus 482. So it will be a square plus b square is equal to this, this 482 minus 1 it is 481. Now this equation here we we'll call this equation 4. Then in the next step, back into this equation 3 here, we'll square in both sides. So into here, it will be a 
plus b into here we square in this side is equal to this negative 1 also into this side we square it then the square of a plus b it is a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to negative 1 square it is 1 now into here a square plus b square is from equation 4 whereas a square plus b square it is 481 so into here we substitute 481 then plus 2ab is equal to this one then into the next step we'll take this into this side so it will be this 2ab is equal to 1 this 481 will take to this side to be minus 481 then it will be 2ab is equal to this minus this to be minus 408 then we divide by 2 in this side and this side so this and this will cancel then it will be this a b is equal to this negative 480 divided by 2 to be negative 240 then into here we'll divide we'll make b the subject so we'll divide by a in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be b is equal to negative 240 over a so this here this is equation 4 this will call this equation 5 now from this equation 5 we substitute into equation 3 now from equation 3 which is a plus b is equal to negative 1 we will write equation 3 here a plus b is equal to negative 1 we substitute equation 5 which is b is this negative 240 over a so the value of b will substitute this so into here it will be a then plus b it is this so negative 240 over a is equal to negative 1 then into here to remove this denominator of a we'll multiply the whole equation times a so it will be a times a is a square into here we have positive and negative so it will be negative this a will cancel with this a so here it will be this 240 then is equal to negative 1 times a is negative a then we'll take this negative a into this side so it will be a square this will take to this side to be plus a then minus 240 is equal to 0 then let's write this because this will solve this by grouping and factorization so write this equation a square plus a minus 240 is equal to 0 so from here a a square plus a square plus a minus 240 is equal to 0 now by solving this by grouping and factorization because this 240 it is 15 times 16 is 240 so here it will be a square then here a is same as 16a minus 15a so from here a we substitute to be plus 16a minus 15a then minus 240 is equal to 0 now into here we we'll take a out of bracket so it will be a out of bracket this divided by this is a then plus 16a divided by a it will be plus 16 bracket here negative 15 we we'll take out of bracket negative 15a divided by negative 15 is a negative 240 divided by negative 15 is plus 16 bracket is equal to this zero then into here a plus 16 is common so we'll take a plus 16 out of bracket then this divided by this is a and this divided by this is this negative 15 bracket is equal to 0 then into here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution a plus 16 is equal to 0 and we have the second solution is this a minus 15 is equal to this 0 
now into here we'll take this to this side to be a is equal to negative 16 and here to get the value of b from equation 5 equation 5 here b is negative 240 over a so from b is equal to negative 240 over a then here to be b is equal to negative 240 over a is this negative 16 then it will be b is equal to negative and negative to be positive 240 divided by 16 it is 15 now here into this first solution we got a it is negative 16 b it is 15 so we write the conclusion a comma b for the first solution is equal to negative 16 comma 15 now from this second solution we're taking at 15 to this side so it will be a is equal to 15 now by using this this equation 5 which is b is equal to negative 240 over a so it will be b is equal to negative 240 over a it is this 15 so it will be b is equal to negative 240 divided by 15 is negative 16 now into here we got into the second solution a is 15 b is negative 16 so the conclusion from the second solution to be a comma b is equal to 15 comma negative 16 so this is the conclusion from this our problem now let's check each is each of these two solution from equation one only if we will verify this our problem now for the first solution by substituting into this equation one a square a square it will be this negative 16 bracket square is it equal to b plus here b b it is this 15 then plus this 241 so negative squ negative square it is positive 16 square it is 256 is it equal to now we find the sum here it will be 5 plus 5 plus 1 it is 6 right 4 plus 1 is 5 then this 2 now into here left left side and right side are equal then it is true for this first solution now let's check for this second solution by using this equation 1 now from equation 1 a square it will be this from the second solution here it will be 15 square so 15 square is it equal to b b it is this from equation 2 from solution 2 b it is this negative 16 so it will be negative 16 then plus this 241 now into here 15 square it is 225 is equal to negative plus this positive it will be this minus this now here we borrow one it will be 11 minus 6 is 5 then this here it will be 4 we borrow one it will be 3 3 minus 1 it is 2 then this 2 now left side and right side are equal then it is also true for this second solution now this all these two solutions are correct Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.